fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. Uh, you notice that we've got some funky looking thing in front of us. Well, I went and finished mining and got a good amount of each four of the different ores and spawned in my base. Now, you guys are looking at this going, what an ugly piece of crap. Yeah, this was, I made this before they had that the special camo texture. So this was my pre-camo texture, camo texture, okay? Kind of, isn't it? Kind of like camo? Anyway, <clears throat> I decided to bring this back in use. It's my, um, um, not base base, <laughs> not a base base. It is a CV. Now, the reason I'm able to spawn it in so cheaply, actually it used to be even cheaper. It was level three before, is because it's not a matter that it's a CV that makes it higher level. It's whatever the highest level block that is in the blueprint is and it doesn't it doesn't matter what type it is it's just whatever the level of the block is the highest level of the block well the highest level block on the CV at the time I was probably the armor locker which it now is also and it cranked it up to level five um, so the new models have changed that's okay that looks cool well, looks cool. It's a it's a decent upgrade model. It's got panels on the sides and on the front. Okay, we can work with that. That's pretty cool. Um, so it looks like the armor locker didn't change, uh, nor did the food processor or the T1 fridge. Uh, the cargo boxes definitely changed. They're, they're pretty cool now. They're pretty cool. Well, let's fire this thing up. <clears throat> okay, can I actually, will it let me... Okay, it'll let me do CVs, and I've noticed that I can only, I can only get into the control panel of the Econo box out there, um unless the only way I can do it is if I'm inside the cockpit uh, so they've changed that somehow um, or my or my particular um, vessel is bugged which I'll find out soon enough um, anyway so here is my little CV it can't fly uh, but it can grow into a glorious glorious vehicle and the reason I want to bring this out again is uh, I've, I've actually played around with it a little bit before Experimental 8 came out. I, was just, I, was, I, just, I, I played around with it a bit to make sure that it was going to be viable, and I think it will be. Uh, the problem is the biggest, biggest, biggest problem <clears throat> is not that it... Um, doesn't have any weaponry it's it's because usually spawning this in and powering it up does not cause drone base attacks I have not had that experience yet and I've spawned, been spawning this thing in since I've, I don't think I've ever spawned it in um, and used it in a series yet but I think that's going to change now. I, I, I really am grooving this, how I'm getting my vehicles built by spawning in just, a, just the inside shell is basically what I do now. And then I expand around that and then put the final armor skin on it after when, when I get all the resources. So I kind of I grow my vehicles as my skills and resources grow. Um, now, so that's what's going to happen with this base. It's going to grow into a real CV. 
which I'm going to fly away. Um, the reason I'm going to be doing that, I know it's it sounds crazy because just to put a weapon on here now, I've got to be like, uh, I've got to get some really high-end um, mats that aren't available on the planet unless you can loot them somehow. So that is a huge concern. The biggest problem is, is if I am in the pathway of a drone that I shot down, shoot down, and the drone base. If I am in the middle, in between them, so when it, it, it respawns the drones and sends them out, it will veer off and destroy this CV because it's undefended, because because it's powered, it's a vehicle, it'll veer off and attack it, right? And destroy it. Um, so that can be a big concern. I just have to, if I, you know, I just kind of, if I shoot something down, I got to race back to this, race back here really is what happens. Or I activate this base and deal with drone base attacks, which I really don't want to. Um, yeah, the loot's good, potentially. Or just minigun ammo, <laughs> potentially, right? Um, so let's go in here and grab our stuff. So I can pretty much just put all this in the in the uh, base now. I'll call it the base because it's going to be the base of operations moving forward. Okay. And, oh, fridge. Let's get the fridge stuff. And then we can actually just turn this off, right? For now. Let's just do that. Close the shutter down. And we'll jump out. Okay, so. Right, my jetpack was turned off. Okay, yeah, the armor helped with getting the uh, um, ore, that's for sure. Now, the weird thing is I have not really, I did not ca encounter any hostile creatures other than the spiders on, like, day two or day three or whatever that was. Um, but, yeah, I didn't encounter any while mining. Now, I thought that was a little bit unusual, but maybe not, I don't know. So it seems to be a lot longer reprieve now, like a couple days it gives you to, to kind of get your crap together. Uh, I mean, I, I guess that's good because you really need it. This took me like a week of game time or something to get a base going, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, let's put this food away before it spoils. Quit gabbing. Quit gabbing, Zealot. Okay, we'll eat one of those. <clears throat> Okay, uh, we have not much. So, let's put all this in here. Uh, that, 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 Get these ores in there. Oh, not stone yet. I just want to get the ores in. Then I'll put the wood and the stone. And we get some fiber, other crud. That will not do anything in the constructor now, I don't think. That will only work in the food processor, I believe, as food nutrient, right? Ooh, everything's changed. Okay, health pack. Okay, so that's the uh, nutrient solution. I need stone dust, purified water. Okay, so I, I can make a couple. Now, the problem is, I mean, yeah, that's all in great. At this point, I can't even make grow plots for this thing. So that's one of the other big drawbacks on doing this. It requires, uh, if I want to get this thing going as a garden right away, I, I need to go loot them. You know, I got to flu fluke out and find a farm or a residence or something like that, right? Um, usually there is one, and I get plenty to, to get 
enough going to uh, make canned vegetables. So I think today uh, we're going to make some weaponry for the HV. Let's get some uh, a couple of Gatling guns going here. Um, we're gonna need the 15 mil for that, right? They didn't change that, did they? Like, that would just freak me out. 15, yep, okay, so let's do 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Should no problem be able to afford that. Yeah. Okay, uh, also, we're gonna need like a cargo box, right? So let's let's get a couple of those. Should I get more lights? Let's get it some more lights, pot lights. We'll also um, we're gonna need the ammo box. What else? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a thruster, an extra thruster on. Actually, you know, let let's um. Let's crank that up, because that was really feeling wimpy. If we, uh, well, if we do that, let's give it another generator. And ooh, we can't do a fuel tank. Did I not? I don't know how to do a fuel tank. Okay, do I have any points left? Yes. Okay, so let's go to here. Fuel tank. Uh, and well, we could do minigun. It's not a bad idea. It's not that bad of an idea. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 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 minorly pimp out our HV. Our cheapo HV. It won't be so cheap anymore, but it's still going to be cheap. Okay, let's grab one, another one of those then, right? Yep. <coughs> um, what else? I've got anything else for it? Oh, I don't have a hover booster, so let's make one of those. That's about it. Don't really need the O2, and I've had I actually had a stack started. Let's take a look at that. That's kind of cool because I had a stack going. Oh, well, it's only made five of them. It takes it takes forever to make them, but that's kind of cool. I eh? like you can make your own oxygen now. Just you know, if you don't need your suit constructor going, why not? If you're not using your suit constructor, I mean. Hell, make a make a stack of twenty oxygen. You never know when you're gonna need it, right? Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure if that's good enough to sustain you, though. It seems a little slow. I'm thinking you'd have to like augment that with getting a water generator up right away. If you're on um, a non a non oxygenated planet, okay. So, <clears throat> um, you know what we're gonna do while we wait for this is we've got our flashlight. We've got some oxygen now going. I think we should go pick some seaweed. Let's go check it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Uh, get the flashlight out. Uh, makes you sink. Great. Okay, it's hard to see like that. I'm going to just kick back into uh, third person in these tall. Really? Can I not? Are you not? No? You haven't grown yet? It takes, takes a week? Like, what? Come on, it's been a couple of nights. 
Okay, so they don't, so natural plants don't grow back very fast, I guess? Maybe? Huh. Yeah, I'm, it's not letting me, um, see it, let me target that, so let's, huh, I guess I've already picked these out. Well, we can go a little deeper. I didn't go that deep, right? Because I couldn't. Now I can. Okay, so... There is quite a bit of seaweed down here. I can see it. It does stick out amongst the natural gr grass. The natural grass is... Um, or whatever you want to call it. Uh... <laughs> ocean bed. Okay, so they got some rocks down here. Definitely a lot of seaweed. Lots of seaweed. Wow, once you get your suit on, you can like just stock up on the protein. This is awesome. Good XP too. Wow. Nice. Yeah, you can totally make um, meat with seaweed now. So that's um, that's really awesome. <laughs> so you can make steak out of this. Yep, grilled steak. Pretty awesome. You can't even tell the difference. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of seaweed. It's just, it's awesome. <laughs> wow, okay. So what else is seaweed good for? Well, I guess we'll check into that. Let's just collect a ton of this stuff right now. So, wow, if you... You know, there are rocks. Oh, no. I don't, maybe not. Maybe there's not very many rocks. I did see a couple down there, right? But... Um, yeah, I'm not going to... Oops. That ground rock. I'm not going to do the... Um, see, now stuff falls on the ground. Great. So the T1 drill... Does not pick up the rocks. Oh, and you know what I noticed? <laughs> so after I realized I put the, um, I didn't put the, uh, the harvest box on the back of the um, HV. And so you guys saw that at the end of the video. I was like, oh, derp. So once I put that on and went around, I did notice it still left half the amount behind. Now, I'm not sure if, if anyone else is experiencing that, but I thought it was very interesting. So um, when cutting down a tree, it left half of it behind as logs and picked up the other half in, it, in, the, in the harvest box. So that's a new mechanic. I'm not sure if that's a bug. Um, kind of interesting it forces you to there we go level seven nice so now we got some points okay that's good we'll um keep picking this stuff so pentaxid okay nice smash these rocks rocks are still worthwhile getting i mean you, you get you get um You get crushed stone, right? So, well, sometimes. <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay, so it's... Oh. Back to the old pain in the ass ways of getting when... Before they fix the... Uh, or before they en enhance the T1 drill to, to auto pick up. Um, it was like that underwater. So you had to like chase down your nuggets and they'd like fly off and billions of different directions and 
Yeah, it was fun times. Fun times. And then the gra the uh, the seaweed on the bottom of the the lakes were so tall, and you just couldn't find your you what you what you pop what popped out of the rocks after crushing them, and it was like oh, frustrating. Okay, so I'm. Let's see where we are. So we're still really, well, I think we're really close, aren't we? Wow. Almost 200 meters. <laughs> Looks like we're right beside it. It's just so deceiving now, eh? The map is so huge. So huge. I haven't even, I haven't even come close to um, traversing this thing. Um <clears throat> and and this amount of area right here would have been like an entire planet before. So, uh, wow, pretty good. Well, that was um, that was cool. Let's unequip that, and we'll just uh, swim back, and we'll do the um, we'll do the sideways jig to try and get some real velocity, and. Oh yeah, it does help. So sprinting and sideways jig do help. Oh, can I pick these? Yes, I can. Why don't I do that well, instead of just swimming by them? There is a lot of seaweed in these lakes. So once you get your armor on, it's going to be a lot easier to get food. Um... Yeah. Trying to gauge which way is has more seaweed on the way back. There's just so much of it. I don't need it all now. I mean, it's just, wow. So once you get your armor on, you're not going to starve. Just run into the lake. And <laughs> you've got everything you need there. Tons of plant protein. Yeah. So what are we at here? We've got 66 plant protein. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. So yeah, pretty much um, I guess the other, the other thing to do would be like um, just spawn in the armor locker literally on a uh, core just make a I do that all the time just just make one item on the core as a, and put that in your blueprint and then you can you can make very specific items that way from uh, looted stuff Yeah, that was a little easier to find. Yeah, this is this is how we used to smack rocks in what Alpha Six, I think, right? Yeah, Alpha Five too, I think. Maybe even before that, I didn't play the game before that. So, okay, well, what did we get? We got sixty-seven. That was a good year. Well, let's check this. Nice. 13 more. Do I have fuel on me? Yeah, let's, um, well, I, I, I can't see me not needing water at this point for stuff and oxygen, right? I'm going to have to start producing oxygen pretty quick here if I want to get an SV going and get up into space and get some rare ores and and uh, stuff like that so that I can actually make stuff so wow that's pretty awesome um, that was cool what did we get wow 67 plant protein we'll just stow that in here for now and what else can we put in there? It's going to need that. Oh, we, what? We picked alien plasma down there? I did. Oh, that's what those spiky things are now? 
Oh my goodness. Okay, I did not notice that. Very cool. Okay, so you can get plasma, T6 plasma, from the stuff in the lakes. Nice. Okay, well. Well, that's good to know. Because uh, that is needed for... Well, I don't need that in the fridge. What, it, what am I doing? Let's get this cooked up. Let's take a look at what we can do here. Um, did I actually leave all that stuff in there and it's not perishing? Does it not perish in the food processor anymore? Wow, I left all my food in there? That was kind of derpy. I think it is perishing. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, so let's not do that. But, well, what can I make? Let's let's see. Yeah, protein. Uh, vegetables. Yeah, I don't have vegetables. Poopy. Berries. Purify water. Health. Food. Stamina. Body temperature minus three. <laughs> Minus one. Body temperature three. Yeah, the grilled steak kicks ass. Speaking of, let's just eat that. One of those. We're actually kind of hungry. Okay, uh, so... That is probably our best use of it right now. We'll get the stuff in the fridge. I can't believe I I think it's going to spoil if I leave it out I, I'm, I'm positive it's going to spoil if I leave it out in the um, I, I yeah okay there we go well uh, I think we're at the point that we're kind of now sort of out of the survival phase of the game. Once you have a sealed building and a sealed vehicle and you can kind of mine and get food fairly easily, that usually is now at the point where, and, and of course the environment doesn't bug you anymore, then, then you're kind of at the point where you're out of survival mode and now into exploration exploration mode I usually call it um, and that's usually where you start encountering stuff and getting into fights so I don't want any drones bugging us here what I really 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 need to do is get a little SV going up into space and just getting what it needs to, to build a warp drive and then warp somewhere to get actual um, mats to, to take this off into space. <clears throat> or at least get the guns on it, right? Because, yeah. Tough time right now. Uh, actually, you know what? You know what? This is probably... Um, yeah. Let's just grab everything. I don't think I... No, why did I... Not put that in the. Oops. No. Come on. Can I not? Oh. Huh. You have to be standing on it now. Okay. Is that the issue? You got to be standing on it. That's what it is, I bet. Okay. 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 I think I just figured. So I'm not going to. So you can't actually drone. So can I get. Yeah. See? Okay, they did it back the way you, I'm thinking we're not going to be able to drone into vehicles and stuff anymore. Uh, okay, <clears throat> okay, well, so we got to be standing on them or in them. Mm. 
Okay, well, that's a change. That's a change. I found it a lot easier to move stuff around between vehicles and stuff if you just use your drone, but well, I guess you got to stand there and be the intermediate now. Well, um, let's throw this stuff on and you know what? I Do I have any... I should build some oxygen first and fill up my oxygen so I don't have to use my small bottles do that. Let's make 10 of those. So while it's doing that, let's go put the stuff on the HV somehow or another. It's going to start looking ugly here. Where this isn't going to be what my final design is. It's just right now the, um, the drone doesn't work. So, and I needed something super, super, super cheap. <sighs> So this is what it is. Let's do this. Uh, uh, can we do this without using any blocks? Let's <laughs> let's see how ugly we, we, how absolutely horrible. I'm not sure if three. I'm not sure if three actual uh, hover engines are actually going to do this thing. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Put this on the side here. I can always uh, build two and put them on the sides. I might do that anyway. It'll probably be way more stable. It's not a bad idea. Actually, whoa. I don't know how. I haven't gauged the uh, the um, jetpack on this thing yet properly, obviously. Uh, okay, so that's pretty good. That'll fill up the uh, base. Come on. Thank you. And what else did we need from that? We needed... Uh, uh, we should make some blocks, actually. Let's do some blocks. Get a hundred of those going. Just to cover this up a bit. Okay. Um, let's put these thrusters and stuff on. Oh, I was going to make more hover engines, right? Let's make two. Let's make two, and we'll stick them off the back. We'll see if, if that works properly. So, two. I don't really want to halt that. We'll take those for now. Oh, I didn't put the eggs away. That was stupid. Let's do that. Okay. And put the guns, ammo box, ammo. This is all gonna help a lot. Okay, and all these thrusters. So we got two in every direction to put on. So how should we do this? Let's go to the front there. One there, and one there. Okay. <clears throat> um, hmm. On the side here, and let's put one there, and one there. Sure duplicate that over here and put the fuel tank over here it's kind of scary come on nope there thank you and uh, what did I put there oh I put it back one that was stupid 
Oh, that's not that bad. That's okay. Whatever. I put that one forward. I don't have a tool with me, do I? Can this... I don't think it can... Components. Eh. No. Okay. So we'll just... Uh, we'll make do. We'll put... Um, let's do this. We'll do this. Do this. We'll... Um, come on. there and then we'll have the yeah okay and then <laughs> god this thing's going to be ugly okay and then um, we need the thrusters so that really screwed it up didn't I I really um, I should have moved this thing this is going to be the ugly HV an ugly HV build for now once I get a multi-tool, I'll fix this. Okay, so there's that way, and then we'll get the two on the back here. And then... Let's see if the... I'm not really liking the thing sticking up like that, but we need to um, probably put block block this thing up anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just hideous, but. <laughs> It's not going to be my permanent vehicle. I'll end up multi-tooling it down. Almost guaranteed. Well, it looks like we have almost one. But we have all the steel blocks, so let's get some more of this stuff on it. Let's put this over here. Put this here. <coughs> Uh, actually, should we do the guns right now? I think, yeah, that's probably a good idea. How are we going to do the guns? That's, that's a good question. It seems to want to sit right there. I mean, that's not bad. I could, like, protect the cockpit, maybe, more. It's not a bad idea, too. Put them there. As long as I don't have anything in front of them, right? Other than things to shoot. That's not a bad idea. Because they got a lot of hit points, right? So, yeah. Let's, let's just totally cr clap trap this up right now. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh, the lights. Right. Oh, th oh, actually, I can do this. I can do... Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Let's do this. Um, yeah, that, and, come on, that, okay, okay, uh, not sure about that harvest box now. Hmm. If I put the ammo box on a, right beside it, let's try that. Let's do it. We can have the we can have the turret mounted right on. I'd rather have it a lot lower though. 
You know what? I'm not liking those there. Let's go make a uh, multi-tool. Let's fix this. Let's let's fix this absurdity. And these are done. Good. Okay, multi-tool. And we're going to need some charges. Each one still puts out three. For ten pellets. Okay. Yep, let's still play. Yeah, it's still the same cost, so that's okay. So they didn't change that. <coughs> okay. Let's um, move this down the line. We're not really going to need this now. I'm not even sure about this now. Kind of leaning towards ditching it, really. It's not... I'm not going to be using it, I don't think, anymore if I've got enough biofuel. I've got enough to keep making drills if I, you know, if I need to. Um, yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, here we go. <clears throat> we can fix it. We have the technology. Oh, we just don't have the capability <laughs> standing on my base. Okay. Okay. Let's disassemble because I need those back. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Um, I could probably put the small one, the, the ammo box right there, so let's do that. And then I'll, I'll figure out something for the, uh, harvest box, because I still got the cargo box too, so, if we do those now, we can like, you know what, let's move this stuff forward, I think. No, got this whole side here to uh, so let's do let's do this just swing that around more cargo and and then yeah then we'll do this hmm Uh, it's not going to be so I could like center it but then I can't get into the fridge as easy didn't get to the constructor okay you know what good enough good enough let's put these um, hovers on and we'll take it for a spin so I'm thinking back a bit, right? So let's do there. And there. Okay. So now it should be able to handle the weight. Um, oh, did I not make a minigun? Didn't I make a minigun? That was crazy why wouldn't I make a minigun it's like the first thing I <laughs> want to be making almost uh, let's see get that minigun going yeah yeah let's not put that in there Okay, so let's, we should actually get some more fuel going. Five biofuel and we've got plenty of fuel fuel. Okay, five or should we do more than that? Let's do, let's do 10. Come on. No. 
Nice. We've got the minigun turret. Okay, so. What I'm hoping is that. Um, hmm, do I want to do that or do I want to put at least a thin thin layer on oh stop it no don't feel <laughs> okay we're doing okay i think i need to put some more concrete down uh it's a little bit of a thin pad and it's underwater too so it's kind of funny um hmm oh i could put a couple turrets <laughs> don't need that though uh do we want to skin it up? I think we do. I think I think we seriously do. Because all this crap is just exposed here. Let's put some... Let's just fill in some of these with blocks for now. Some of the uh, gaping holes. And we can even, you know, make this look prettier by going like that. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, so now I think what we need to do is cover this with... Hmm, let's go like that. And then, like that or we don't want to get it too wide do we no but I do want it protected um okay come on and then we'll do some angled stuff here come on no, not that way. Pop it up. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Let's go like this then. And then we'll spin it. Is this... And... Okay, what am I doing? I can't see... Th okay, there. That's the problem. It just... Couldn't freaking see there, and we'll do that there, and we should probably cover. Let's move this thing. Can we move it up here? No, there's not enough. Um. Okay, time to expand the pad. Time to expand the pad. Well, I'm going to expand the pad and finish skinning this thing up. Uh, I'm going to leave the episode here. This is uh, going to get way too long in the tooth if I continue on here. But you can see kind of the flat, wide theme I'm going for here. And, um, yeah, it'll just be a temporary solution to a temporary problem that they're going to fix pretty soon. And then I'll get my proper vehicles out and going and, and build them up and uh yeah it's gonna be awesome so there you have it guys we um we have ourselves a, a vehicle with weapons on it we have a base now that we can um, craft uh, much better items for ourselves with the large constructor we have a food construct our food processor to uh, do all the high-end foods with and um, yeah once I get this constructed we're gonna go exploring with it because we got to go get stuff we got to keep gathering you can't sit still in this game unless you unless you've built yourself up in a certain way and are self-maintaining and it is possible it's just 
it's just difficult anyway it's getting dark out yeah wow pretty cool pretty cool well guys oh I think my base ran out of power crap no stop that see a lot stop yeah it ran out of power crap 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 oh uh, no oh no let's just fill all then oh no did my stuff spoil did I nope Oof. Yikes. Not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. Okay. So, well, I saved the eggs. <laughs> don't know what I need them for yet. We'll take a look later. I don't, I don't have enough stuff to actually, um, I'm going to eat one of those. I don't have enough stuff to actually craft anything decent. Just, just doing the grilled steaks right now. They're, they're pretty awesome. So, yeah. Okay, let me in. Let me in. Really? I power you up and you're not going to let me in? Wow. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I don't know what to call this thing. Uh, I guess we might name it after she's done or in the process of being built, but she's got a long way to go before um, this thing's going to fly. And we've got a long way to go before we can, really. So, uh... If you want to see if we can, oh, if you want to see if we can keep not dying, because <laughs> I didn't die again. So I'm off to a solid start now. I, you know, if this was a, if this was an Iron Man start, I think I'd have a shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, oh, that's interesting. You don't, you, don't get, uh, you don't get kills for stuff you kill with the meat grinder. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Not that it matters. And I guess the only thing you get for it is, like, um, bragging points, really, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. So, if you like this episode give me a like uh, even if you didn't like it as long as you didn't hate it you know give me a like <laughs> um, if you want to see when the next episode is published make sure that you have subscribed and set your notifications turned on and you'll get the notification well guys this was fun we are well on the way to uh, um, solar uh, not solar um, um, yeah, solar system domination. <laughs> I was going to say global domination, but uh, I think we want to expand even beyond that. So uh, I guess baby steps, you know. Sure, let's go with global domination. We'll start with global domination. <laughs> well, guys, you have a blast and have an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>